Hello my beautiful people, it is 2017, Happy New Year. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful year. Let's be prosperous, lots and lots of health, and of course, love with all your family. So now that we're in 2017, all that partying is put to the side, let's talk about resolutions. I know a lot of people put in fitness and they want to eat healthy and they want to get into shape because it's January, it's a new year, and it's going to be a new you, right? So I want to give you five tips that you could do, you know, to try to keep your resolution as much as you can. Let's try to make a change to better yourself. This is going to be your year to be the best you you can be. So here we go. Number one, we're going to start off slow, okay? We want to make this something that you're going to continue. You don't want to go cold turkey on things. So pick a bad habit that you have and just take it out. Just do it. Just do it. Just one. Do one at a time. The point is to get healthier and healthier and healthier, but it's going to take time. Let's face it. So what we're going to do is take one bad thing that you have. Let's say you like to drink soda. Just take it out. Let me tell you. Soda has about 25 grams of sugar. Not good. The pH levels in soda are so high that you can clean a toilet with it. Why do you want to do that to your stomach? So pick something that you can work on to make a healthier lifestyle. If it's not soda, pick something different. For example, change from... Rosie's walking around. Pick something different. Change from white bread to whole wheat bread. Change from white pita to whole wheat pita. You know, make little changes for a healthier lifestyle, little by little. If you do everything at once, it's not gonna work. You're gonna go crazy, you're gonna be stressed, and you're gonna go back to your old habits. Item number two, I'm gonna talk about water. Your water intake, you should be taking about your weight divided by two in ounces. That's how much water you should be taking in a day. Water is so important because it cleans out the toxins in your body and it suppresses hunger. So sometimes when we think we're hungry, we're actually dehydrated. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you're thirsty, it's because you haven't had enough water throughout your day. So pick up your water level. Number three, you're gonna work out on a workout schedule that you're gonna try to commit to. So about three to five times a week, you should be going to the gym. Now, if you're a person that hasn't been to the gym in a very long time, going a lot of days might be a little bit too much. You wanna start off a little bit slower. The most important thing about working out, there is no bad workout. The point is you want to challenge your body. If you've been doing the same thing, I know I, love, love Zumba. I've been doing Zumba since 2005, but guess what? Zumba does not do anything for my body anymore. I go for it to have fun. So I need to pick up my game, do something different, do something where your body's gonna be like, damn girl, yeah. So you can feel the soreness and that's when you're going to see your body changing. So give yourself a little challenge this year. Pick up something different, some kickboxing. If you've never been to a spinning class, Head to a spinning class. Maybe you want to go pick up some weights. If you need ideas, just come and talk to me. Number four, forget about the scale. All right, what's most important here first is your inner body and how you're going to be feeling, your energy levels, and how your clothes fit. So it's better to like focus on how you look, how you feel in your clothes. Those are, more in those are better indicators of what's going on and if you're losing weight. And also remember that each person is different, right? For instance, for me, I know my fatty area is around my waist, for sure. I know some other people that have a small, small frame and then they got some baboom, voluminous hips. Because, I mean, each person is different. And the last one, tip number five, is that we're trying to form a healthier lifestyle with clean eating and with exercising. So just remember that this is not something that you want to start and finish. This is about making improvements because let's face it, we're all getting older here. So we want to be the healthiest we can so we can live a long life with our families. Remember that your workouts are about 20% and your nutrition is about 80%. So you really want to watch what you're eating. The better clean foods you give it, less preservatives, less things in a box, you know, more healthy produce items, the better you're going to be living. I hope those tips will help you out in making your goals for this year. 
My point is for you to be able to achieve those goals that you have and not let them go just a couple of weeks or months into the year. You know, if you ever have any trouble, come and talk to me. It's very easy. Leave me a message. Approach me. It's all good. You know, we're in this together. I don't know it all, but I love researching. I know that things have been working for me and I've been trying a whole bunch of stuff. So it's all about trial and error and seeing what's working for your body. Later on this month, I'm going to be doing a free clean eating challenge group. It's going to be for five days where I'm going to be doing meal prepping and giving tips about food and ideas of what you should be eating. So watch out for that in the next couple of weeks. So happy new year. Let all your dreams and your wishes and all your goals come true this year. Work on them. Put yourself, be committed, be dedicated, and you can achieve anything. See you around.